So, ladies and gentlemen, today we have a test. Choke versus no choke. We had this already, but not in this configuration. We are testing the end fed antenna. I'm measuring uh, SWR, like always. This is without the choke 2.2. Quite bad. But now we are going to the transformer. This was. 2.2 was without uh, the choke here. After the transformer, or before the transformer. And now we're measuring with the transformer. We're going back. Uh, I repeat the test, what we have. 2.2, this was impossible nearly to set up I tell you this because this choke is changing the SWR quite a lot and I had to find a setup where both uh, both setups had more or less a similar SWR this was already the second try of this comparison we tried it one week before and we failed uh, but this time it was working so here you see the end fed antenna, it was uh, 4.5 meter high in the middle. Uh, one end was yeah, nearly on the floor, the other end uh, so about one meter up. And here you can see how I'm switching between choke and no choke. And I'm um, starting the next transmission with JS8 core. Like always we are doing this several times and then we are removing the highest and the lowest values and taking the, the average uh, of the rest, average uh, SNR values. There was no direct line of sight, we was behind the hill, this time even a bigger hill than usually, so there is absolutely no uh, way to make a direct uh, yeah, line of sight connection to the home station. This was NVIS a near vertical incident sky wave. And here are the results. Here in the Excel sheet, if you compare the two blue columns, the left one is without the choke, the right blue column with the choke, and the average of the uh, no choke column is minus 6.5, and with the choke is minus 6.36. So there is yeah, no difference. If you compare the two red ones, the left one uh, without the choke 2.14 and with the choke 2.21, so nearly identical uh, numbers. So what does this mean? This means to me that I not have to use a choke uh, before the transformer, at least in this setup. Keep in mind there is another choke on the transceiver side. Next time I will test if uh, a ground connection, so these two ground rods connected to the coax shield at the transformer, if this has any effect on the transmission. And I think after that uh, I will compare the end fed with the dipole. If you have other ideas what I can test with the with the end fed antenna for 40 meters for NVIS, so for this kind of uh, setup, please let me know. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.